So I've been keeping my guitar in the cases for a bit now because it's been really humid here and I wasn't quite happy with the stands so I thought I should buy a permanent solution so I've bought two of these Fender classic serious guitar stands that hold seven guitars each and two of these Fender guitar display cases uh, I think I'll uh, get another one of these so let's unbox and see how many guitars they do hold these are just uh, my electric guitars my acoustic and jazz guitars and whatnot uh, in the closets and elsewhere so let's see okay so these are put up in no time takes a couple of seconds shall we do unboxings of all my guitars and fill these bad boys up all right let's do the first one okay up first we have a fender clearly a molded deluxe case let's see what we've got in it oh my 89 fender hm strat in the redstone finish with the demacia super 3 and injector pickups a kill switch, TBX tone knobs, five-way selector, and a slightly flamed uh, maple fingerboard. Uh, I also swapped the original Kaler Spider Tremolo with a Lockmeister Schaller made in Germany. And naturally, I've got a matching couch guitar strap and a tremolo arm. Boom. Very nice. Up next. Okay, number two. We clearly have a Kiesel uh, guitar. Let's find out which one. So. Ooh, my ST300 with the uh, quilted maple top. Uh, v burst. I've replaced the original Wilkinson Tremolo with a uh, hip shot Kiesel Trem. It has the lithium pickups, 24 frets, of course, bird's eye maple fingerboard, abalone inlays, um, my own uh, name, and it's an older body aqua burst and a five piece maple neck, uh, maple and purple hard neck and keys locking tuners. So naturally I have a matching guitar strap and tremolo bar once again by Couch for the vegan. Next up. So here we obviously have an Ibanez and this can only be my RG 652AHM Prestige with uh, an ash body, a tone zone, um, Air Norton DiMarcio pickups, the original Edge Trem, which I've modded with uh, gold hardware, Dunlop's uh, strap locks, and a bird's eye maple fingerboard, which is gorgeously finished in sort of a satin finish, really nice. Um, of course, a five piece maple walnut neck and a clear uh, ash body. It's a great guitar, not a fan of the binding. Uh, the color is just too yellow for my taste, but other than that, I love this guitar. Plays and sounds amazing. Naturally, I have a matching couch strap, which is gorgeous, and a tremolo bar by Red Bishop. Here we go. Next, we have a, a Schecter LA Custom Shop Sunset Classic. It's my oldest electric guitar in a Hiscox. Ooh, nice with modded chrome pickup covers, uh, push-pull and uh, yeah, splits and all kinds of things. 
maple fingerboard, bird's eye maple uh, headstock, a swamp ash body, and a gorgeous kind of teal finish, flamed maple neck, as you can see, Spurzel locking tuners, really nice neck heel joint, and natural binding effect, which I love. And of course, we also have a matching couch guitar strap. Nice. All right, here we have another Ibanez guitar with an MC300 case. Let's see which one this is. Oh my, newly acquired purple neon. Ibanez Genesis collection with a matching couch strap and tremolo bar, flame maple fingerboard, basswood body, and this amazing color shift finish. Very cool. Here we go with my second Kiesel Custom Shop guitar. So this must be my DC600 and yes of course it is. DC600 with the PSO pickup system and the Kiesel Hipshot Tremolo, Lithium pickups, Master Grade, Bird's Eye Maple, a Gold Evo frets uh, just like on the other Kiesel. Amazingly book matched headstock and oh yeah, Bob Custom uh, plates did these um, swamp ash body neck through, which is maple purple heart five piece and keys locking tuners. An amazingly specced guitar, love the colors and everything. Playability is off the charts, of course, as well. The neck is not quite as thin as on the other Kiesel, I have to say, but it's amazing. Here we have yet another Fender. This can only be my Fender American Ultra Stratocaster. And yes, indeed it is with the uh, blue sparkle pickguard. It's the only customization I've made. Oh, really nice. Also slightly figured uh, maple neck. The fantastic sculpting and the super, super comfy uh, contours. And of course, a perfectly matching couch strap and the tremolo bias. Inside as well, of course. Love the sound of these noiseless uh, vintage ultra pickups. Great guitar, wish it had 24 frets, as everything should have. So here we have one in a, a pretty good gig bag. Let's see. I think this is my Ibanez Archie 421. Yes, turquoise sparkle. Great little guitar with these uh, Ibanez Quantum pickups. I've had the, um, no, actually I installed the GK3 Roland MIDI pickup, which is what I originally got it for. And here you see, it has only a one piece neck. But the sparkle finish is really sweet, especially when the lights hit it. And of course there should also be a matching couch guitar strap. While we're at it, might as well do the last Ibanez. This is a custom made Ibanez Jam with my Dream Swirl. Fantastic guitar, plays absolutely uh, perfectly with a flamed maple fingerboard and custom permit inlays. 
love the headstock and of course we have a roasted flamed maple uh, neck a three-piece neck and locking goto tuners all access neck joint then we have the uh, chrome edge tremolo a dimasio fast track path joe and mojo blue tip switch uh, matching dimasio guitar strap and a red bishop tremolo bar awesome guitar and my last purely electric guitar is a Sean 8 string made in Korea, which I got second hand for a great deal. I think I paid 650 euros for it. So new, these are about 1100 or so. And import customs, shipping, and all that. So would be quite a bit more expensive. It has a mahogany body, which I don't really enjoy, but you know, for the price, it was okay. Gets the job done. So here's my one and only chance box or arch top guitar. It's a uh, Hufner Jessica special slash uh, custom because it's sort of a hybrid with a solid spruce top. I love the sound hole cover uh, invention or feature and the 24 frets, ebony fingerboard, uh, European spruce claw, gorgeous flame, love it, uh, maple neck, Grover. Oh no, wait, what are these? Um, Schaller uh, tuners. It's a wonderful guitar with perloid trapeze. Uh, I think these are trapeze inlays. Yeah, a fantastic guitar. Couldn't be better. This one's my Takamin, or however you pronounce that. Uh, acoustic electric guitar with a spruce top, rosewood fingerboard. It's a M46C, so really beautifully matched rosewood back, solid uh, front, uh, top and back, mahogany neck. And it has the cool tube two, I think. Yeah, CTP2, uh, made in Japan, uh, plays fantastically well, and yeah, love this guitar. Wish it had 24 frets. <laughs> this is my relatively new Yamaha classical acoustic guitar with 24 frets. Love this guitar uh, to death as well. This one is uh, an MTX5. Case is amazingly beautiful. So this has a European spruce top, I think. Walnut uh, sides and back. This one has a quilted walnut, sp walnut back uh, by accident. Mahogany neck, which of course I don't like, but um, the atmosphere system is fantastic. Uh, ebony fingerboard, 24 frets. And this one also has um, the, the innovative feature of a sound hole cover to minimize feedback. Great guitar, love it. Okay, so here we have an acoustic guitar. Uh, in a UK made Hiscox case, which is great. Oh, come on. To get this one open, it's easier this way. Now, this is my inheritance. 
there's another latch. Okay, now we should be good to go. Now there's another one. Lots of latches. This is my 81 Gazelle. It has a solid cedar top, rosewood fingerboard with gold um, dot inlays. You can see the Gazelle uh, logo there. It's a day on. Rosewood sides and back. Really beautiful. Mahogany neck with, I don't know what kind of a stripe that is. But yeah, it's a very huge sounding guitar. I've used it on my new record for some slide stuff. Um, it's a great instrument, sounds huge and has a very unique shape, which doesn't make it easy for stands. <laughs> Last but not least, my second Tecumin, which is an electric uh, classical guitar, all satin, which, you know, is really prone to scratching and uh, glossing up and so on, so I'll never buy a satin finished guitar again. This one has a solid cedar top, sides and back uh, mahogany, solid mahogany back as well, uh, mahogany neck. So this one is my least favorite guitar because of its features. I don't like mahogany, it's, it doesn't have any definition in the highs, lows and the mid frequencies. I don't. Uh, enjoy a whole lot either. They're just too mushy. Uh, it's beautifully made. Rosewood fingerboard, made in Japan, but it's just not my cup of tea. So, as you can see, everything has been installed, and which was a breeze anyway, and it looks pretty darn nifty in my book. Um, I have the electric guitars on the right and uh, primarily acoustics on the left, aside from one eight string electric guitar. So yeah, I think it looks awesome this way. And I've already attached the guitar straps to the electric guitars, which makes it look uh, nicely colorful. And um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed by how spacious it is, uh, these dividers. Uh, make it quite flexible and uh, it's it's pretty amazing because these aren't designed for acoustic guitars and I can still fit five acoustics and uh, two electrics in a seven guitar stand that's uh, darn impressive I must say so I have a chess box uh, two classical electric guitars there a dreadnought a chess guitar oh an acoustic guitar and there's still room for one more electric on the far left, as you can see, there's an open slot and I can actually fit it in there. I, I would have to open that fender uh, compartment, but it works, you know? So quality wise, I would give it a seven out of 10 because it feels pretty sturdy. I, I am not afraid, you know, that it might collapse at any moment or so. So, the only thing I would uh, improve upon is padding on the bottom because it seems a bit thin down there. So when you, you know, accidentally um, put it down too hard, it feels a bit rough. But uh, yeah, you can do that yourself, uh, obviously, but it would be nice if it came like that from the factory. Um, but other than that, I have no complaints. It was easily assembled and yeah, looks great. Very uh, tidy overall. And I've also since installed uh, these puppies, the Fender guitar display cases, as you can see. Uh, it looks pretty darn sweet. Uh, on the right hand side, I have my Kiesel ST300 to show off that gorgeous quilted maple top with the V-Boost and on the left I have the Fender American Ultra Stratocaster uh, in Cobra Blue with a blue sparkle pickguard by 
D'Andrea, which I think has great quality pick guards uh, made in USA. And I also have the guitar straps there um, hanging on the left. And the Fender Certificate of Authenticity uh, is displayed in the middle. I actually have another one uh, like this on the way because, you know, let's face it, <laughs> I'll get another guitar down the line. And, you know, three is the charm, I guess. And yeah, so maybe I'll uh, put some LEDs in there to illuminate them uh, whenever I feel like it, you know, so I sort of um, really showcase them. The cases themselves don't exactly ooze quality or luxury, but they're decent enough for the money. They're all right. I paid, you know, roughly 200 euros uh, per case, which I think is fair enough. Uh, the plush interior is fine. The, the, the hangers themselves are of great quality. Yeah, so no real complaints. I like that you can lock them up. So it feels really uh, safe in there overall. All right, and that's about all. These I would give a six and a half out of 10 quality wise, because craftsmanship is not as good as the uh, guitar stands in my book. Well, this about wraps it up. If you have any questions, let me know. These are the Fender uh, guitar stands for seven and the uh, Fender display cases. So please give it a like if you enjoyed this content so I can uh, continue making this kind of content in the future. And if you haven't done so, subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications. And yeah, stay tuned for more content. This uh, is Alienadin signing off. Bye bye.